Zimbabwe is beaten and bruised, and those still at liberty to tend their own wounds can count one blessing, that they are not among the hundreds rounded up and paraded into court. In little more than a week, this nation has lurched back a decade to a time of brutal repression. They were shooting anyone who was coming nearer them. In the hospitals, there are many injured and many who say they cheated death. No one does just one shot. From very close range? Yeah, from across the range. You're very lucky to be alive? Yeah, I was very lucky. In a safe house, a dozen exhausted survivors of the crackdown. They'd been on the run for six days and sleeping in fields. Among them, a three-month-old baby. All the women tell me they've been sexually assaulted. There were six soldiers. Two raped me, says Melody. They said it was punishment for joining the protests. My children were watching. Zimbabwe's Human Rights Commission condemns the wanton destruction of the demonstrations but accuses security forces of systematic torture and random arrests in response. The protesters' barricades have been cleared away, but the anger and the fear continues to burn. Several people were shot in this area, and since then, at night, the army has returned to spread even more terror. Like yesterday, there were no demo, so they just came and started beating everyone, beating us, beating us with these ticks. Late last night, President Manangagwa returned home to a crisis blamed by some on the man who met him at the airport, his hard-line deputy. There's talk of tension between the two men. The president says security force violence was a betrayal of the new Zimbabwe. Cases of indiscipline will be dealt with and heads will roll. So we expect, obviously, if there has been any wrongness from any member of the armed forces or the police, that will be dealt with. But how to deal with the grief of a young wife and a baby robbed of a husband and father? Kelvin Chotto, a talented footballer, was shot and killed as he watched the protests. I'm angry about our government. Uh, it's a ruthless government. It's a careless government. They... They don't uh, value uh, humanity. Lives have been ruined, and Zimbabwe's reputation, again, lies in tatters. John Ray, News at 10, Harare.